And now to that fire burning on Fort Carson. In the last hour, we learned the fire's grown to 1,000 acres. Cardio News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live at the Turkey Creek Gate of Fort Carson. That's along Highway 115. And Scott, that's about as close as you can get to the fire. Yeah, guys, as best as guys as we've been able to determine, we are as close as we can get to the fire. Vince, our photographer, is going to pan over to the east and show you the general area where we're talking about. Now, this is where that smoke plume was so visible yesterday. Today, you can barely see it at all. Every now and then, you see some smoke over the horizon, but not a lot. Everything to the north of that, you can see kind of a, you know, light brown haze in the air. Everything to the south, pretty clear. But that's about all we can see for right now, except for some aircraft occasionally flying over that fire. But it is windy out here, too. Let's take you to video. Now, the haze in the air that we've been telling you about all day was a surprise to people waking up. They were hoping for clear blue skies after storms earlier this week. Now, mountain scenery isn't quite as pretty, and the haze has caused some watery eyes and breathing issues, too. Earlier today, we spoke with two people about the situation. I grew up in Southern California. This looks like Southern California, and I don't like it. Hope they get the fire put out soon. The fog, the haze, like the smoke is really, really thick. It's, it reminds me a lot of Waldo Canyon, and it's kind of scary because it looks so much like when Waldo Canyon so fire was going. So that is the situation from those, view, from those drivers' viewpoint about what they think about this fire and all the impacts that it is having. Now, the latest from Fort Carson is tomorrow morning at 9, there will be a press conference to update everyone on where crews have been with the fire and, will, and then where they will be going with that fire. Again, lightning is believed to have started it, and there is no threat, Fort Carson says, to people or property on post. Back out here at Turkey Creek, this is as close again as we can get to that fire. Not much to see right now. Hopefully that is a good sign. We'll keep you updated if there are any changes. Reporting for live now, Highway 115 along Colorado Springs, outside of Colorado Springs and Fort Carson. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.